In this video, we will be looking at theories of income distribution and why people are paid how they are paid. The marginal theory of income distribution states that the division of income among the economy's factors of production is determined by each factor's marginal revenue product at market equilibrium. Wage inequality is the idea that two people are paid different wages for their jobs. For example, how college graduates are paid more than high school graduates. This inequality can be attributed to factors that are consistent with marginal productivity theory of income distribution. One possible explanation is compensating differentials. These are wage differences across jobs that reflect the fact that some jobs are less pleasant or more dangerous than others. Another possible explanation is differences in talent. Uh, people who are more talented are more likely to produce higher quality products, which are then in turn more desired. A final possible explanation which coincides with the marginal productivity theory of income distribution is the differences in quantity of human capital. Human capital refers to accumulated education, experience, and training possessed by an individual. The more human capital usually results in more productivity, and thusly a greater wage. The marginal productivity theory of income distribution is based on the assumption that mar factor markets are perfectly competitive. In such markets, we can expect workers to be paid the equilibrium value of the marginal product, regardless of who they are. However, thanks to unions, workers are paid an unequal amount, as unions function to help raise the wages of their members. A second source of wage inequality is the phenomenon of efficiency wages which is a wage paid when an employer pays above the competitive wage level as an incentive, as an incentive for workers to be, pay, to be more productive and reduce employee turnover. This works as a price floor in that it creates a surplus of workers who want an efficient wage. This causes those with jobs to work harder in order to keep them. Discrimination is something which has been oftentimes attempted at being resolved. However, there has been no concrete answer to it yet. The main insight economic ana analysis offers is that discrimination is not a natural consequence of market competition. In fact, market forces tend to work against discrimination. Although the marginal productivity theory of income distribution is a well-established part of economic theory, it is a source of controversy. There are two main objections to this theory. The first is that in the real world, we see large disparities in income amongst workers who, in the eyes of some, should be receiving the same payment. The best example of this would be differences in average wages between genders and races. The second is that many people wrongly believe the marginal theory, productivity theory of income distribution gives a moral justification for the distribution of income, implying that the existing distribution is fair and appropriate. This often leads people who believe that the, the current distribution is unfair to reject this theory.